guys. Like many, many babies, they are 18, 19, 20, yep. 21, 23. And they have not yet gone into their period. 35, 32. Absolutely. Are they? Yes? Right. Are they adults? Yes. Are they? Yes, again. Are they problem of menstruation? Right. Yes or you no? should not be consummating your marriage with, a, with someone who has not so yet gone I'm through puberty. I'm just asking. You, you understand please, that? Yes. Yep, I gave you so an answer there. There's, there's women, they okay. are not married, okay. yes? But it's been clear. Wait, wait, okay. I'm, 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 I want to make it more precise. Okay. Please listen to me, yes? Okay. Yeah. Are they women? Mm. Are women, they are uh, quite mature, they have a problem on mens menstruation? Right, they have not menstruated yet? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Are All they? Right. Right. Are they women? Are they? Yes, but Some you cannot, ha you should not have sex with those who have not yet gone through puberty. Yes, but... Do you understand why? Yes, I do understand Okay, why. right, that's fine then. We're both in agreement, yeah. absolutely okay, fine. thank you. The bit where we disagree yes. is the other end of the side, where it's not, it's not they haven't menstruated because they have an issue, a dis uh, disability, or whatever it might be, but those who have not menstruated because they haven't reached the age to start menstruating yet. Okay. That's the issue that I take a problem with, and that's what I'm talking about now. Now, I've looked at the Quran and I've read this and I've read the whole uh, chapter and I think it's clear that it's talking about those who are prepubescent. Now, there are, this is a multi-stage argument because the Quran seems to be clear, the Tafsir for Ibn Kathir and Al-Tabari seem to be clear and Muhammad and what Muhammad did with Aisha when he married at the age of nine also seems to be clear. There is a, no real way for a Muslim to get out of this argument. No problem. Okay. I would say you're right. Okay. No problem. Okay, let's, so you think that it does teach that? No problem. Let's say let's say it's the case, yes? Okay, okay. Let's be consistent with the Bible, yes? Okay. What's the age of what was the age of uh, <laughs> Isaac when he got married with Rebecca? Uh, Isaac, what was the age? Oh, um I can't remember off the top of my head, but it does say yeah. yeah. Forty, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I think it is forty. Yeah. Rebecca? We don't know. We do? Can you show me a verse in the Bible that says the age? No, 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 no. From the Jewish exegesis. We do know mm. from three to ten. Mm. Do you have does it say? Does it say in the Torah, uh, in the Torah or the Tanakh where her age is mentioned? In the Tanakh. Can you show me, please? Yes. I would e love to see. Even that. the, the exegesis, yes. Yeah, yeah. If I, I show you, wait, wait, wait. If wait, you, wait. Okay. If I show you from the uh, Jewish exegesis, would you accept the fact? I will accept the Torah and the Tanakh. Please. please. You know the Christians follow. Wait, we wait, accept wait, the Torah wait. and the Tanakh. We don't you accept. You have to be consistent. Yeah. Yes. No, I am being consistent. Yes, yeah. you have to be consistent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Please. My scripture is Please. these things, yeah. Yes. Okay. I will just speak, no problem. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. The problem is you have to be consistent because when it is when we refer to tafsir or whatever, even yeah. you, you yeah. said, oh, tafsir yes. of this, scholar right. of this, right. you have to be consistent. Okay. Is it in the Quran? Is it in the Quran? Yes. It's in the Quran. Yes. The tafsir is in the Quran. Oh, no, no, no. the tafsir so is. When you but the verses, yeah? No, yeah. I'm going to just speak. Okay. Ask, just, uh, okay. so explain, there's a conversation though, yeah? I explain, and yeah. then you said yes, no, and then you can... I haven't okay. finished it, you just okay. can right. right. The tafsir or uh, anything exegesis or scholars is in, in the Quran. No, it's separate from the Quran, but it is about the Quran. Okay, but uh, do you use this uh, argument to explain the fallacy in Islam? Do you use this kind of uh, uh, example to... Uh, demonstrate your argument. My argument is multifaceted. I refer to the Quran, a scripture, yes. Yes. alone. Yes. I refer to tafsir yes. separately, yes. and I refer to Muhammad's life through the hadith. Yes. So that's a threefold argument. Okay. Now, in regards to what you said about Christianity, with the Torah and the Tanakh, I will accept that as scripture, and you are free to show me the age of Rebecca in that scripture. Yes. And I will humbly admit that you were right if okay. you can show me the so age of now Rebecca. If I show you from the Jewish exegesis, which is a tafsir okay. in Jewish, we wait, don't wait, wait, consider wait, that authoritative. Wait. You understand yes, that? Yes. Okay. If we, I, I show you from this, yeah. in this case, that Rebecca was married between three and ten. Is, now, wait, uh, do you find a problem? No, because I don't find that authoritative. Why? Because I'm a Christian and I don't follow Jewish ex uh, exegesis. Yeah, but the thing is now you have to be consistent. Right. Yes. You use the tafsir to demonstrate the okay. fact. Right. You say, oh, right. this is not authoritative. Well, I use it because you. you are, okay, is, is Ibn wait, wait, wait. authoritative to you? You have to be consistent right. with is, the argument. Is it authoritative to you, Ibn Kathir? Yes, he does. Okay. Yes. Right. But so is that fair? But you haven't. Uh, you, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> is you, that haven't, fair, then? <laughs> wait, yeah. you haven't demonstrated for right. me. This from the tafsir of the uh, of, of, of tafsir. Okay, uh, shall I go through yes? it? Let's go through it again. Okay, but so. you have to be consistent, yes? Surah 65, Al Talak, Ayah 4. Now, I've read the passage. I'll read it again just so everyone knows what I'm talking about. As for your women past the age of menstruation, in case you do not know, their waiting period is three months. 
and those who have not menstruated as well. That sounds like children. As for those who are pregnant, their waiting period ends with delivery. And whoever is mindful of Allah, he will make their matters easy for them. Now let's look at Tafsir. I'm going on Quran, Quran.com, going, pressing the little button there, going to Tafsirs. And then at the top it says Tafsir Ibn Kathir. So I'm touching that one. And then I read it and it says, Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period for the women in menopause. And that is the one whose menstruation has stopped due to her older age. Her idda is three months instead of three monthly cycles for those who menstruate. This is based on the ayah in Surah Bakala 2228. The same for the young who have not e reached the years of menstruation. Their idda is three months like those in menopause. Yes, and what is the problem? Okay, but do you, under, do you follow what he just said there? It does. So you understand now that Ibn Kathir, at least, his interpretation of Al-Talaq Ayah 4 was that this does mean the young who have not yet reached menopause. Uh, does, he mean, does he mean young child or young woman? Young women? Well, he, he considers them women. So what is the problem then? Because he thinks a woman who has not yet reached the age of menstruation is, problem, then? is someone you it's can have woman, sex with. Yes? If they haven't reached puberty is it or a menstruation... Woman? Is it a young woman? According to Islam, is he a young woman or a young child? I don't think it's a woman, but Ibn he, Kathir says please, it's a woman. Please, you just yeah. say, you just... Yes, yeah. Ibn Kathir you says it's a woman. with me? Yes, I am. Yes, yes please, please, Ibn Kathir please, says so. Let me speak, please. Okay. Yeah. You just said, 10 minutes ago, is referring to a woman. According to Islam and the Arabic. Yes, and he's referring so to... So what, what the, we can infer then, what yes. does what is a woman according to Islam? Yes, what is a woman according to Islam? Someone who has not yet reached the age of puberty. Okay, so you're with that so far? Yes. Right, so you will agree then that in the Islam... Woman, no, 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 no. Okay. The woman, in the woman in Islam is someone who reached her property. It's just, he just said... He, no, he doesn't no, 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 say that. You, no, wait, wait, you just told me no. that it says the word woman in Arabic. Yes, yes. So is it women then? Yes. And he talks about those who are too so, young? Yes. There's some woman. I repeat uh, again. You, you, you almost, no, you no, almost no. agreed with me. No, no, no. You almost agreed you just with said, me. Look, yeah. I'm going to reconfirm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you said yes, yes. There's women, mm -hmm. scientifically speaking, they have a problem of menstruation, late yes. menstruation. I agree with you there. Yes. I agree with you. But that's are not what we're talking or about. Children? They are women in the sense of that they have uh, grown up, but they haven't gone so, through puberty. What yes? is the problem then? Because Islam just says that a woman is someone who has not even reached no, puberty yet. No, there's some case. You see, in Islam, right. there is, like, this is a general, yeah? Right. A general is a woman yeah. has reached a period of puberty, yes? Right, right. But there is a sex exceptions, right. and there's many women, right. Right. yes? Yeah. Wait, please, let me speak. Sure. There's many women, as exceptions, they are women, but they cannot have, they have their menstruation very late. Yes, right. and this is demonstrated. I'm not disagreeing with you. So I'm saying that verse doesn't talk just about that. Where do you get it, this? Because the verse makes it clear it's about those it who are too young. That. It doesn't say that. You're, You're talking about the special no. exception and not okay. talking about wait, what the wait. clear it doesn't interpretation say that. of that verse Does it is. say that in English? It just says those who are too young. And so? So that could be an eight-year-old? No. A seven, why? Why can't it? Why can't no. it be? Why can't it be? So, because you know, say but Muhammad himself, yes. through his own behaviour, yes. he married and consummated a marriage with Aisha at the age of nine. Yes, why? Well, I, I, unless you want to tell me that Aisha why has gone through puberty. Why are you consuming her at the age of nine? Why? Because he can, according to the Quran, he can have sex with a woman who has not yet reached puberty. But at nine she was uh, reached her puberty. How do you know? Because it was mentioned. Okay, can you show me? Show me. I want you to show me from your hadith or from your Quran. Yes. No, no, either no, one. So either we're one. Not, we're not finding that. Is okay. So where will you find it? You find, you're finding a hadith. Show me yes, from hadith. No show me from hadith. Now, let's. Now, this is. Not, I will show you from there. Okay. Now, if I show you from the Jewish exegesis, Rebecca, she was between. I've already told you. I don't find that authoritative. Please. Yeah. But you have to be consistent. I mean, I just don't right, find do it authoritative. Yeah. Does the Bible mention in a, uh, 2 Timothy 3.16? Yes, the scripture the is Old Testament all is all what? Yes. The Old Testament are you, is? Are you referring to the Old Testament? Are you referring sorry, to sorry, Jewish exegesis? Sorry, sorry. If the 2 Timothy 6.16? Uh, right. yeah. All scripture is God-breathed and useful for instruction. Yes. yes. So now, if yeah. Rebecca was right. between three in and In scripture. Wait, wait. Finish, please. Okay. If Rebecca was between three and sixteen, or uh, three and ten. I thought you said she was three. Uh, three and ten. Uh, three and ten. All right. Okay. Yes, three and ten. According to the Jewish exegesis, yes, that's okay. what they say. Rebecca was okay. three and ten. Show me in scripture. 
You can't show me in scripture. You know you can't. That's uh, why you're not I going there. I can show you from the exegesis, the Jewish exegesis. But I don't find that authoritative. Uh, you're inconsistent, my Ju friend. There are many Jewish scholars who can write all sorts of things you about... You are inconsistent. Why? Why? Because the, by, the uh, tafsir right. is not your authority. But do yes. you consider it authoritative? I do. There you are but then. For me, there you are then. I just demonstrate <laughs> yeah. you and you agreed with me. It's regarding women. Yes, who what are too young to have become menstruating. It's, it's very simple. Like, Ibn Kathir clearly explained no, it. No, so it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that, please. All right, everyone listen to this. Yeah, Tell me what you think, what do you think this is saying, you right? Say it. All right, so this is talking about a verse in the Quran where it says that the idda, which is their waiting period, that they have to wait after vo divorcing a woman that they had married, they have to wait that period of time. Now, this is talking about the context for that idda being for those who have not menstruated. So this, this Ibn Kathir says this, the same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation, their idda is three months like those in menopause. Now, does that sound like he's talking about girls who have not grown up to have menstruation? It seems pretty clear to me. He's trying to argue, no, 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 it's actually about very specific, very rare cases where women are much older, but they have not yet menstruated. Do you agree? Can... Now, I agree that that actually can be that. Thank I agree you. with that. But it could, it's it, the cool. clear verse, though, would be anyone who has not yet menstruated. Who, and who will that be? Well, obviously, it's those who are not old enough to have menstruated yet. Yes, it's close, yeah. How do we know that this is what Muhammad meant? Well, he himself in his own life, through Sahih Hadith, he had sex with a nine-year-old called Aisha. Why, why would we believe that he waited for her to, be, uh, to have reached men, uh, menstruation? The Hadith doesn't say she did. In fact, the Hadith says that she was playing with dolls when, she, uh, when he had sex with her. Ah, so now, now you, 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 you're doing the argument she was playing with dolls is a problem? Well, it's a, well no, because in Islamic idea, playing with dolls is a form of idolatry, which is why it's permitted for those who have not yet become adults. But if Aisha was playing with dolls while she, when she had again? sex with him, Where did you get this again? do you say that I'm lying, that that's not true? I'm just, uh, you claiming something, I okay, just want, okay. want evidence. I'll, I'll see if I can get that up. With well, the hadith where it talks about how Muhammad, uh, Aisha was playing with dolls. Uh, so, uh, no, 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 no. This is not, uh, what? this is not your claim. What? I don't mind. Let me find it, let me find no, it. No, 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 what you're saying, you're saying, again, because she was playing dolls, yeah? It's kind of idolatry, or etc., etc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me read it. Okay. Oh, the, oh, let, uh, wait, 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 wait. I, no, no, no. You, you asked me for this. Yes, let yes, me yes, read it. I want let to, me read it. I want to go to further. You can, you can talk for a solid one minute after I've read this. All right. This is just. This is the hadith. Yeah. This is Sunan An Nasai, 3378. This is graded Sahih, so it's authentic. It was narrated that Aisha said, "The Messenger of Allah married me when I was six and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine, and I used to play with dolls. Yes, okay. Are there problem with the ladies having dolls? In Islam, yes, because it's idolatry, it's an image. Show me evidence it is an idolatry. Are you saying as a Muslim Please, that can you, you can play with dolls claim, and have images? Can you show me this is uh, idolatry? He, he wants to refute... No, please, can I, you I'm not going to Google please, for half an hour yes, trying to find these this things for you. This is your claim. You. This is your claim. Yeah. Show me. You, wait, wait. You said you said earlier that he, I couldn't find this. Your, he can prove the claim by asking you the question. Yes, I'm going right. to answer the question you just asked. Uh, yeah, yeah. Demonstrate to me yeah. that you can play with dolls. I can answer the question. Yes. That you can play with dolls as an adult. Of Demonstrate course, that to me. Of course. Show me. Show me. I can show you from even today. I know many. Please, I know many women. Right. Yes. Yeah. Even my daughter. Okay. Yeah, she's 16. Yeah. Yeah. Does she have a doll? She have does she have dolls in does her she bed? She play with dolls. Yes, and she does. I don't what think is it is. I don't think in Islam you can do that. Why? Because I think that, from my understanding of Islam, and yes. I'm Muslims to jump in, yeah. I don't think that as an adult you can play with images or icons. No, but it's different. Why is it different? You know what's different? Uh, do you know what's different? Wait, wait, wait. Are dolls? See, you know? you're forcing me no, to look no, this no, up no, now. No. You know that? Do you know what is the difference? Islam, can you? You know what is the difference? Go on, go on. May I ask you what is the difference? What do you mean? What is the difference? Yes, do you know what is the difference? Well, about what? Are what do you mean? Are dolls without image? What, without uh, face? So it's just blank dolls? Uh, are the dolls has, has animals? Are the dolls has animals? Oh, uh, come on, go on. I'm asking you a question, sir. Oh, thank you. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the Prophet, and my girlfriends also used to play with me. 
when Allah's Messenger used to enter my dwelling place, they used to hide themselves, but the Prophet would call them to join and play with me. The playing with the dolls and similar images is forbidden, but it was, it was allowed for Aisha at that time, as she was a little girl, not yet reached the age of puberty. Mm. So, oh, let's have a look. Wait, wait, maybe it's not, uh, maybe it's not uh, authentic. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's Sahih al-Bukhari. Yeah, so oh what, no. What is, what is the problem? It's Sahih al-Bukhari 6130. What is the problem? Listen, you just denied that. No, I don't. Just, no, I don't. Did he just deny it? No, I don't. He I did. said, I said to you, I don't. I said to you, are there doors without uh, images or, uh, or even? But Aisha said animals. it was forbidden. You're now questioning there, Aisha. Please, please, Aisha. I'm Thank just you for asking that, you. I just ask yeah. you, are there women or young? Young teenagers or even young women having doors has uh, uh, and it is not it. permitted in Islam. Aisha said so in a hadith that's authentic. My friend, I'm you asking you just a question. I'm asking you, are there women? I don't know just accept what it says. Yeah, I don't. He's, he's fighting a losing battle. Please, I'm you, just. You're, sir, you're, I just asked yes. you to say that you're right about everything you're saying. Sir, okay. Sir, okay. Not today's society. Please, please. Well, okay. please. So no, no, what I'm no, trying no, to say is no. that in Islam, in their scripture, which is the highest authority, in uh, Surah 65, Ayah 4, it says that Muslim men are permitted to divorce women who have not yet reached the age of uh, puberty. Yeah. Now, there's a th there are other reasons to believe this is children. First of all, Tafsir, which is their uh, scholarly interpretation, from a very early time after the, after the, it talks about Israel as a fully grown woman who goes from ch early childhood no, no, no. into woman. I can wait, do wait, I wait, demonstrate. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me, just, let me yes, answer. Let me answer. You can talk after. You can talk after. I will, I will oh. demonstrate. Okay. Rebecca, she was three between three and ten. So show me in scripture, and, and I'll be proven wrong. Show me in scripture right now, and I'll be proven wrong. He won't find it. It's not there. <laughs> but anyway, I know how he gets that number. He, anyway, listen. So. Um, in Ezekiel chapter 6 verse 6 gives this analogy of what it means to be a fully grown woman and it right. talks about seeing fully grown breasts, right. so visual descriptions, and it talks about pubic hair. Right. So it talks about the, the physical aspects of right. seeing someone come into adulthood. Okay. Whereas in Islam it doesn't talk about that, it just uses uh, the fact that you can have sex with those who have not yet reached puberty. So that's my problem with it. I think as an atheist and as a Christian and as a Sikh and as a Hindu, you they don't have any reason to have sex with prepubescent girls. But Islam is unique because it's in their scripture, it's in their early, uh, it's early in exegesis, it's and it's in also scripture. in their example of the Prophet Muhammad. So it's a threefold argument. And that's why I think what you can't. What was the thing you said yeah. there about Jesus? Something, something, Jesus. What, which bit? Sorry. You said it's, you give me like three things. It's in this. Okay, all right, right. So Mark chapter 5, verses yeah. 41 onwards. Uh, just read the passage if you like. Uh, Jesus um, raises a what he calls oh, as a okay. little girl from the dead, and the passage says that she was 12 years old. Right. But he doesn't call her a woman, right. he calls her a little girl, yeah. and that's in the Greek. So. Maybe he knows, maybe he knows. Maybe I can help. I know how he gets, I know how he gets the number of three. So what, it's, we're, um, what we're discussing is, uh, yeah. is a doll. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you or is a doll without well, usually, faces? Usually, a doll like, without, without faces allowed. We know clearly from hadith, like this gentleman brought up, that hadith clearly says that Aisha at least believed, the mother of the faithful, that she was not prohibited to play with dolls. Uh, and I, I think that either way, it's an icon. It's clearly an icon. Aisha thought it was an it's icon. An image or an idol. Clearly. It's actually You see, my friend, if you just say, actually, this is the case and it's not good, and maybe you should leave Islam, then I think that that would be better for you. I don't think so. You should leave. Are you Christian? Yes, I Christian. I suggest you should leave Christianity. Well, you would say that. I think you must. Are you Muslim? No, no. I am an atheist. You're an atheist. I say, yeah. I suggest. What do you think about in Islam having sex with a prepubescent girl in Islam? Hold on. What do you think? This is. Well, I think it's bad. My friend, what you're talking about? Islam is made in the ninth century. Okay. Well, no. Was, uh, oh, okay, in the okay, Abbasid time. Oh, okay, that's fine. And these right. people, they were talking about uh, Muhammad. He had sex with. That's all ninth century. Yeah, yeah I agree. There I is agree. no proof. Yeah, we are, okay, uh, only I agree for you that. as a fan, as a Christian. Mm. I think personally, someone who wanted to know, mm. and I was so curious to know about religion, especially Abrahamic religion. Sure. Yeah. And I did my studies. All right, that's and good. And I just re re find out that Christianity. 
actually I went to so many Christian Go places yeah, yeah. and Orthodox and yeah. and uh, Catholic okay. and, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Born Again and Pe Pentecost and no 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 just to find how okay, the atmosphere okay. what they believe because okay. I am really I, and when I was young See, I'm really interested in yeah. what you have to say yeah. can, you, can you get and to the, I'm what talking you're about this about maybe 30 years ago okay sure. because I am I'm a not okay. young man get to, okay. yeah so what I did found first of all that the first Bible we have is yeah. written by Marcus and is written after the death of Jesus 75 I years show, I show you something. yeah no one second <laughs> no. 70 yes and and the Bible you believe now it, it translated in English it was written in Greek the it means Quinnic. high high Greek and the people, the person of Mark, this yeah, Mark, yeah. he never yeah. meet Jesus. No, no, no. Show, show me, show no. me. Yeah, me show me, me show me. Listen, okay. he never meet this Jesus, my friend. Jesus, my friend. Never. Me. So Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. No, the disciples. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark, Mark where, where 75. Where Jesus uh, live? I don't know. So I don't. Why your Bible I, by I don't know. The why Jesus, he was a guy. Who Would you like to prove me wrong? He died. He was killed. He was not God. He was not Son of God. He was. He was just a man of wisdom. And there is no way you know better than him. Your religion is not better than his. Oh, it is absolutely. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Arabic. Aramaic. Aramaic. So why you? I wanted to do you favor. Why you read Greek? Arabic. Just to speak. Yeah. I am in the simplybible.com. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so it says, since Isaac was 40, when yeah. he married Rebecca, uh, Rebecca would be three. Oh, okay, no. let's have a look. No. Yeah. When the, uh, the marriage, no. Rebecca would be three when the marriage took place. And are you right? It's not mentioned in the scripture. Oh, he hasn't mentioned the scripture. Wait, wait. That's not. But, but. <laughs> okay. But. I think rather, you just conceded it, but alright. But. Go but, but yeah, go on. But it, what he says is in non-biblical tradition, so that's what I'm oh. saying. So now, so what you're saying wait, is, is that this wait, is telling wait, us wait, that it's in non-biblical tradition. Wait, wait. Yes, this is from the Jewish. Well, I, that, no, I don't wait, think is authoritative, wait, wait, and no so, one else does. So, 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 so. Okay. Now this is from the Jewish uh, exegesis. Yes. Exegesis. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what exegesis okay. is? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. I want to finish. Okay. Yes, go on. So now, if it's uh, from the exorcism, yes, yes, and it was agreed by the Almighty, which is God for you, Jesus Christ, he agreed the marriage. Would you have any objections? Wait, so I, what, object, what was the beginning bit? What was the beginning bit? This marriage, right. Rebecca, yeah. Full of, uh, yeah, yeah. Isaac 40, yeah, yeah. and Rebecca between 3 and 10. Which she wasn't. Say three. It never okay. actually gives a date at okay. all in that passage yeah, you're referring it says to. The Jewish, the Jewish tr uh, tradition exorcism, they say... Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me speak, please. No, 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 because I try and reply to that please, point, and you please, don't let me reply. Please, please. Let me just reply to what you're saying. Yeah, Jewish tradition, I don't think is authority. Yeah. I don't, I don't okay. get my authority yeah. from Jewish, um, Jewish rabbis. Do and you understand Jewish, that? The Jewish, the Jewish rabbi, they agreed. No, they there are many different opinions. Yeah, they, no, they agreed. They agreed. Rebecca so, was. So I won't be able to find ten. Jewish rabbis yeah, who say no that the scripture problem. doesn't say the age. No Let's go back. I will go further now. Your argument is based on the idea that some Jewish rabbis thought that immediately there was no time pass, uh, passing between two events that are mentioned in scripture. That's the okay. assumption you're making. Now, I'm a, I'm a Most people don't agree with that. Now you want some rabbi, yes? I give you some rabbi. You can find rabbis that say it, sure. But so, I can find rabbis who say, no, it doesn't you say that. You just said, I need rabbi who said yes and no. If I find I'm you rabbi, they agree. They agree, they agree. They agree. So it's an exegesis. They are saying that there are two events, yeah? When uh, Isaac was preparing for uh, the sacrifice, yeah? And afterwards, and after these events, they're saying that uh, in the Hebrew it says sometime later. They're saying that sometime later means instantly. I reject that. Most scholars reject, reject that. This is where yeah, Muslims get the idea now, yeah, that Rebecca yeah, was three from. Yeah, but now it doesn't say that later or sometimes or whatever. No, it does. It does. Between no, in the scripture, that's what it says. I can tell you. Yes, I agree. But the oh, you agree then? On the um, exegesis, yeah. they give you a time period. Yeah, but the exegesis is based on the assumption from scholars that they were instant that's events. Enough. That's enough. That's enough. Some scholars think that. That's, that's obviously enough. wrong. You have to be consistent. <laughs> That's such a terrible <laughs> argument. Sorry, I have a question. Why sure, the um, fuck in Christianity, why is out of curiosity, at what age does it, one man uh, like, to be it's woman. allowed to get married? Why? This God the is the woman to get married? Why? At why? what age? There isn't a specific age mentioned. And now I, I can give you. 
There is no wait, 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 no no, wait, wait, wait. Now I can give you one of the highest scholar in Jewish, in Jewish we tradition. Have, uh, uh, the Rabbi Rashi. You know Rabbi Rashi, yeah? Yeah, I've heard of the yes? guy. Yeah. He agreed. He's a lovely guy. I've been through yeah? a drink with him. Yeah, but he agreed. Rebecca, between yeah. three and ten. So, okay. what can I say? Was one scholar of the highest but it's, no, but it's not in scripture, though. It doesn't say that in scripture. Please. You're inferring into the scripture. Yeah, but there's even the Bible, the, the Quran, doesn't say that, what you're saying. It does. We've already proved that. No, you already agreed no. with me. No. I no. actually got you to say, Show so what? Me from the Quran, yeah. it is mentioned child or young child. It or says a woman of whom has not yes, yet and menstruated. What is a woman? What is a woman? Apparently, someone who has not yet menstruated. No, it doesn't say that. It does, according no. to the Quran, Surah 65, Ayah no, 4. It doesn't say According to Ibn Kathir, according to our Tabari, according to Muhammad the, himself. Can I read an Arabic? You, you, you got your phone? Right, I'll bring it out on my phone. Go on, tell me in Arabic what it says. We're going in circles because I think you've conceded this argument. I think you're desperate to try and show that there's something equivalent in the Tanakh or the, or the Torah. But there is nothing equivalent in it. So in Ezekiel chap chapter 16 verse 6, yeah. we have an religion analogy as to what it means to be a woman. Okay. And the analogy is when you have developed breasts and you have pubic hair. Yeah. So there are visual that signifiers that you have gone through puberty. Where, where do you get this? Uh, Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 6. Sure. You can get it. Right, the, thing yeah. is, yeah. the thing is my question that yeah. sometimes Some people is right. maybe women doesn't develop breasts like at an early age, sometimes at a later stage. Right. Listen, listen, if a woman has not gone through puberty, no matter how old she is, should you have sex with her? Sorry? Should you have sex with her? If she, she's, she's 23, but she hasn't gone through puberty yet. Can you have sex with her? Take the land of Israel. 23, haven't gone through puberty. Yeah. I don't think that exists. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Would you have sex? Is that, is that uh, lawful for you in Islam to have sex with? I'd have to go back to that, to be honest. I'm not. If she's not married? Because he's saying no. yes. No, he said, I am oh, yeah, yeah, but if you're married to her, can you have sex with her? No. You said earlier you could. No, I never say that. No, no, okay, what is the verse? I'm the one who's showing the, you the Quran. Just read it. Read it, read it out loud. Read that out loud. The Quran is in Arabic. Arabic yeah? That's yeah, but read, everyone here speaks English. Wait, wait, wait. It's in Arabic, yeah? Yes, I know it. It's do, what is the word in Arabic for, for woman? How? How is this Jesus Hello. will come back? How? My friend, uh, please, I'm please. having a chat. Yes, no, my, my friend, so, I'm yeah. having a chat. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's what is what it, what it, okay. Love, no friend. Okay, thank you. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. What is what is the uh, what is the word used here? Here, the word yes. used. Please, I agree. I'm asking, I agree. Please, Listen, sir, sir, I'm uh, answering you. I agree. Okay. I think it does mean in Arabic, women, woman. That's why it's translated woman. Okay. Simple. Now, a woman you, apparently includes someone who has not woman. yet menstruated. Case closed. Woman. Yes. And someone who's not yet menstruated. Case closed. Woman. We, it doesn't say it's child okay, okay, okay. or infant. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll let woman. you go, I'll let you go if you just, just read this verse. Just read, just read it for me. Read does this out loud. Does he say woman? Yes, just read the whole thing. Does he say woman? Yes, it does. Oh, jeez, Louise. Ladies, come on. He won't read it. He won't read it. He said woman, but not. And a woman, according to this verse, is someone who has not yet menstruated. And so are there cases of women who have a late menstruation? And you can have sex with them then? Because that's what you can. Yeah, you can't, yes. But well, are there women? Because your Quran says you can then. Yeah? Can and you have sex with them? first condition first? Marriage. Thank you. Then, okay, if a woman hasn't... He just walks away. He literally walks away. Oh. That's, that's absolutely bizarre. I, I, I've yet to hear an answer to any of this. Actually, no, I did hear, I did see, I did talk to one Muslim who just went, yeah, and that's okay. And that was Paul Williams. I, just, I would like to see Muslims stick to the book. Forget society. Yeah. If the book's the most important, be honest about the book. Yeah, honest. you would have thought. Uh, so I just do a quick wrap up. Yeah, just be, just be honest about the book. What, what yeah. were they so, and a chat about the classic uh, Surah 65, Ayah 4, talking about the fact that a woman in Islam, what a woman is, is someone who has not yet begun menstruating and you can have sex with them because you have a idda, a waiting period of three months to, uh, after you divorce them. This is evidently talking about having sex with children. I've talked about many Muslims with this. That Muslim ran away, he couldn't deal with it. 
They are buried if they try and say it's actually talking about women with, uh, with issues, which means they don't menstruate until later, because then they're saying that you can have sex with those women who have not even gone through puberty. That is seriously messed up. Disgusting! They're, they're stuck either way. They're stuck on that side, and they're also stuck if they accept it is talking about children. There's no way to get out of here. Uh, I'll touch you one more, one second. Uh, God bless. Thank you, thank you, Chris.